All right, hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video on how to install the clock in bot onto your Discord server in case you want to use it. Um, so let me pull up Discord clock in. Okay, so I got the bot pulled up here. Um, so this is the link. I'll make sure to leave it in um, the description. Uh, basically, you want to go to invite this bot. Then once you're here, you want to select your server. So whatever server name it is, and then you do your server. Then you select, just leave all the permissions. And then check that you're a human, hopefully. All right, authorized. So now that we're here, we'll create a new channel called Time Card. Then from Time Card, we'll do Setup. Uh, dollar sign is the prefix. Um, so make sure you know that. So then here's we can see here's our commands and everything. Um, and we can change like the prefix and everything. So from here, we want to one assign the channel that it's going to be watching for and also change the role so to change the channel we can see custom dollar sign customs change channel then id so let's do that first so we'll do customs change channel and then like literally right here you right click on it copy id and then paste it and then it's changed and then let's see um, we want to change role so if everyone to be able to clock in you need to set it to the guild ID so guys let's go do that time card we will do customs is it change role and then we need the guild ID all right so now everybody can clock in so then let's do so like for the time card names um, it's dollar sign mask so then here it can see you know I've already set this VA1 but basically you can change your masks here because it'll be like game custom one custom two custom three but basically you would just do you know mask change and then you do custom one to you know custom five or something and then it changes it so if you're look if you hire you know a VA named Edward you would change custom one to Edward um, and then to clock in you just do clock in and you call what your time card name is so VA1 then you see there no data file exists yet so then that way now it's creating one so we'll let some time build up here um, so then that way it can apply to the time card so it's been in one minute so we'll just do clock out and then VA1 so we can see there is zero minutes there there's probably a couple seconds um, but to see it we do data I think it's at everyone or we can just do at Chris so myself since I signed in and we can see there that VA1 was signed in for 20 seconds so then from this point you take the amount of days that they've worked and then there's 24 hours in a day so you can divide the number of days by the number of hours and then you, you'll get how many hours that they've worked um, your hours hours will show up here and then it's up to you whether you want to include their minutes um, what I do is if they have you know over 30 minutes then I just include that into a next hour next hour into their timesheet um, but guys remember it's up to you however you want to pay them um, then let's say you want to purge your stuff you do data server or purge server data purge server data and then it'll ask you in 10 seconds you need to hit this to clear it and it's been done do not forget that everyone has to make a new file again so then basically when your VA start again after you pay them and you've deleted their time card stuff remember to do that after you pay them otherwise their time will be tacked on to their time card so VA1 see no file exists yet clocked in and then we do clock out VA1 and there we go um, so yeah, 
that I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how to install the clock in bot how to set it up and set it to a specific channel and you're also discord server so yeah let me know if you guys have any questions and yeah